Volume 5, How to Prevent of Going to Jail in Prison and Traffic Stops or Stopped by Any Kind of Public Servants slash Policemen, State Troopers, and etc. I'm going to read you something under this man named Gordon Hall. Okay? So this speaker, he's in my library. Um, there's a, this is the thing of the contract law. There are four doors of claim responses. Okay, how to respond. Okay, the first uh, the first uh, door is silence, which means you're in dishonor, debt, you're a debtor. When you're silenced, you don't say anything. Okay, number two door is acceptance, agreement that puts you in a credit that puts you in a position of a creditor. Okay. So being silenced in the first one, that means you're in dishonor. Okay, that goes if you write a administrative letter that is notified and you send it through of any of these offices. If they don't respond back after so many days, then they have breached the contract. Okay, that's the first door of silence. When you when they send you a letter saying you have to go to court for child support. You send them a letter to say that I don't need, you know, and then you send them a letter back. If they don't respond back after you don't send them a letter, then you really won. Nationality, you won. The one that passed the ball last is the one that wins. Okay? Door number three, conditional acceptance. Counter offer slash claim. Conditional acceptance. Simply meaning that since you accept their offer, it could be $5,000 or five years in jail. I will accept your offer unless someone can show me that you have authority of the estate. See how simple that was? Just that quick and just that simple and just that strategic and straight to the target. I will accept whatever because everything is an offer. Everything is based on verbal or written contracts. This how it depends how you respond to them. So conditional acceptance, this is when you're counteracting. Since they don't have the authority, then you go for what you call counters claim. Okay. Number four, door. I agree if you can show a proof of claim. See that it is? That puts you in a creditor position. I accept whatever offer you give me, but you have to have proof of claim. In order to have proof of claim, you got to have one point. $350,000 to $1.5 million per claim. That's that cover what you call the insurance bond. Okay? That cover the insurance that you have a claim against a particular estate. So if they don't have $350,000, which they never did, and you don't call up uh, call them on it, then they're going to get you. Because you didn't know the... These things, when I'm stating to you and talking to you now, they uh, they don't want they don't want you to know what I'm teaching you, because it's behind this. What I'm talking about is get to them behind closed doors, where they do all the little sneaky work, and you putting it out right there in the public. If there's a public there to be witnessing, to be witnesses, so you can kind of see right now how powerful this stuff is. Okay. And agreement, agreement, dishonor, debtor, which means that if you silence and they made an agreement and you being silenced, you agree that puts you on dishonor and you just pay the liabilities. That's all with that. But um, uh, Gordon Hall, David Clarence, it's another one y'all listen to. I'm giving y'all viewpoints where you're not just listening to myself, but I got people. Now, I have been out there. I, I've been out there in the trenches, and I, I, I experienced this stuff firsthand. So this stuff works, okay? I'm here now to tell you it works. But if you want some more references, people who told me this information, they, they, I don't think they've been in the crossfires like I have. But it's good to have listen to someone else to give you a little bit more confirmation, a little bit more comfortability. So David Clarence is a good one. Um, Gordon Hall is a good one. 
um, uh, um, um, Taj Tariq Bay. It's a good one. These are individuals that you can look up and get all the meat and potatoes that you need to eat faithfully. Um, I'm going to read some more of the stuff that I got in my notebooks. I keep notebooks, as you can tell. See, all these notebooks right here, they're listed. This one here is called uh, Jermaine Funches State Equity Law Principles Warrior Culture. What a um, creating, elevating. You know, that's what this book is. It got a lot of what I do. Uh, it got a little bit of everything in it. And what I do is write this stuff down. Because, you know, they're very important. I can share this like I'm sharing it with y'all. So I, I keep notebooks. And I, anything that's important that's going to benefit me in the long run, I write this stuff down. Sorry about the little bumps in my face. I'm bringing out. I've been drinking a little, drinking a little sweets or whatever. And they're telling me now I got to stop drinking sweets. Because I don't know. I don't break out like this. Um, but face all bumpy. I got to leave this stuff alone. Leave that sugar stuff alone. It tells will be real quick. Got my face looking like goddamn Mount Fuji. <laughs> I can crack on myself because I'm just telling y'all the truth. I ain't got no been drinking no goddamn sodas and stuff. I've been drinking them, so that's why y'all see these bumps. So I said, well, damn, but he got to look at them bumps on his goddamn face. Don't worry about it. It's going to go away. I'll get back naturally again. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, this, um, it's good to do this right here because this is a good outlet for me, you know. And and those who watch it, you will learn and you be better off. Trust me. I don't believe in doing something, saying something that you can't benefit from. If I have benefit from it, I'm 110% or 150% accurate that you're going to benefit from it also. All you got to do is continue, you know. And I'm gonna have some things coming along, slowly but surely. You know, but uh, I love you all, and I want peace and happiness and joy, and we can do this. You know, just keep doing what we're doing. Keep striving for the best. Keep striving, and dream big. Okay, dream big. And uh, until next time, I will see y'all later, and y'all have a blissful blessed day. Namaste. Hasta luego. Bye.